Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Where are you going to go? Where are you going? 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 Some of you was right, I know we don't know where you really are going right, so. but anybody who know where we're going right, this so we just see a brother and a brother just start kick off around and we don't know where you really are take place. But just leave a comment in the comment section if you don't know where I'm going. So, right now, Mr. Chang denies security minister at fault for a wrong SOE document. Minister of National Security Dr. Aris Chang confirmed today that there will be an investigation into the tabling of the wrong regulation for the extension of the state of emergency SOE recently declared in St. Catherine. Chang ordered investigations into the tabling of the wrong SOE regulation. Dr. Chang tabled the correct regulation, the new emergency powers, Parish of St. Catherine. Number 3 Regulation 2022 today paving the way for a full debate of the clause next Tuesday followed by a debate on the issue raised by the Speaker. They replaced the emergency pause parish of St. Catherine Number 2 Regulation 2022 which had been tabled on Tuesday but had to be withdrawn after it was discovered that it did not include the changes which were made to create the number three regulation. The minister said that he had reviewed the number three with the purpose. Chang aimed amendment the regulations to include rejections made by the court as well as issue raised by human rights activists rejecting aspect of the regula of the legislation. Dr. Chang said that he had reviewed the proposal to meet the relevant standards indicated by the Supreme Court, which were made by the legal advertisers to the government, and the changes were made and document and had to be signed off by the Governor General and sent to the printers. He said he wasn't sure what had happened between his review and the signing off by the Governor General, which led to the previously laid number two document being sent back to Parliament to be tabled. As to how it happened and why, I will assure the MPs that I will give an investigation because someone has to be held accountable for this grievous mistake, the Minister outlined. So right there and then, my viewers, in the year when Mr. Chang say. So right now, we'll give you a little update on COVID. Been a while, we don't touch nothing about COVID. So right now, 23.3% COVID positive rate, 138 new cases, one death recorded. Jamaica COVID positive rate increased to 23.1% and aim at 138 new COVID-19 case recorded over a 24-hour period up to Wednesday afternoon. One COVID death that occurred in September 2021 was also recorded on Wednesday, bringing the overall coronavirus death toll in Jamaica to 3,107. An 81-year-old man from Portland is the latest recorded fatality. There were 122 recoveries on the day, bringing that tally to 90,302. The newly confirmed case brought the total number and record for the island to 142. 11. Note the 23.1% positive rate based on samples that were tested on Wednesday. Of the new confirmed case, 91 are female and 47 are male, with age ranging from 1 to 92. 
The case count was made up of Kingston and St. Andrew 48, St. Catherine 36, West Moland 14, Portland 10, St. James 8, Clarendon 6, St. Anne 5, St. Elizabeth 5, St. Thomas 2, St. Mary 2, Manchester 1, and Trelawney 1. There are 28 mandatorily ill patients, 11 severely ill patients, and 3 critical ill patients among 1,722. 28 active cases now under observation in Jamaica. There are 115 COVID patients now hospitalized locally. Some of you as, as we continue. 14 year old girl gone missing in Spanish town after leaving for school. An Alan the alert has been activated and a search is on for a 14 year old Tavaya Gay Tavens, a student of Wells I Jordan Penn, Spanish town in St. Catching, who has been missing since Wednesday the twenty second of June two thousand and two. She is of dark complexion, slim built, about one sixty five centimeter, five feet inches tall. Reports from the Spanish town police are that about eight AM Tavia left home for a school. She was wearing her school uniform, Burgundy tonic and white blows. She had not been heard from since then. Anyone with any information, whereabouts of Tavia is being asked to contact the Spanish Town Police at 876-984-2305, the police emergency number 119 emergency, or the nearest police station. Please let us help find Tavia.